hi. All right guys, hi and welcome back. We're going to be working on math again today. We're going to be doing problem solving with lesson 4.1. So we are going to be doing a couple different things. We're going to use addition problems and solve them with a bar model, which is here. As you can see, it looks like a bar. That's why they call it a bar model. So right here is your bar model. It's the squares, the rectangle. We are going to use our models like we have been doing for the last few days, drawing dots and such, in order to prove that our bar model is correct. And we are going to count on to solve problems. So there's really a lot of things going on here. And when you add everything else, this is a word problem on top of it. So it's a really a large piece of information that we're gonna be working through. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here. And we're first thing we of course have to do is read our problem. So pencils up and tracking with me. Hannah has four red flowers in a vase. She puts two more flowers in the vase. How many flowers are in the vase? How can you use a model to find out? Okay, so really this bottom part is not part of the question. They're just telling us that they want us to use a model. So we're really gonna look at these first three sentences to solve the problem. And again, using my cube, I'm going to circle my numbers, four and two, underline my question. And as I said, you start at your question mark and go all the way back to your capital and period and that will tell you what your question is. So how many flowers are in the vase? That's what they're asking, okay? And then I'm going to box my math action word. And as we were talking yesterday, all week, the word more is my math action. And that means plus addition. We're going to be building a larger equation. And everybody's fun part, get rid of all the junk. I don't care about anything else. It's all out of my way, okay? So what do we need to do? We need to find out how many flowers Hannah has. So the whole thing that we're looking for is her flowers. So you can go ahead and trace that if you would like. It's not really necessary, but you can. And then you're gonna talk about what you already have. The information that I already have is that she has four red flowers in the vase and that she has added two more. And again, it's this magic word right here, more, which meant addition. So as we slide down, you'll see right here, it now says four plus two is the same as blank. So using our model from yesterday, so you'll have your four, one, two, three, four, and two more, one, two. So this is gonna help you solve your answer, your question. So four and two more is a total of one, two, three, four, five, six. Now that's the part that's all been reviewed, but we're gonna take that over here to a bar model. And here they've already done it for you and showed you. So this bar means my whole number of six. So this would be if I cut it into six pieces, they would all be the same size. So four is a bigger piece. So I cut it and I give four the largest box and then two in the smaller box. So as you look right here, it actually makes the equation four plus two is the same as six. So we're gonna keep going. It's gonna take a few minutes, my friends. I'm gonna rip, you're gonna flip. Alrighty, here we go, starting with our colors. There are seven dogs in the park, then one more dog joins them, how many dogs are in the park now? So starting with blue, you're gonna circle your numbers. So I see a seven and a one. Underline my question. How many dogs are in the park now? Starting at your question mark, and you're gonna go backwards all the way to your capital and your period. That's the whole question. So until you're really comfortable, you can always do it the easy way and go back. So how many dogs are in the park now? 
box my math action word. Does anybody remember what it is? Perfect. That word more, and it meant addition. Favorite part, get your red, and you're gonna get rid of all your junk. I don't care about anything else. Those are all just extra words made to confuse me. And then it comes to my sentence right here. You'll see seven plus one more is the same as, and if you need to draw your dots, feel free. That's your model. So seven plus one would be eight. Perfect. But we need to place it in the bar model. So moving it up here, I have seven plus one more is the same as eight. So completing that bar. Okay, sliding down another one, my friends. Here we go, starting with blue. Some birds are sitting in the tree. Four more birds sit in the tree. Then there are nine birds. How many birds are there were in the tree before? Now, I see the number nine, but I don't see another number. It's there, but they wrote it in words. This is the number four. So we have to be careful and look at those words. Okay, and they wanna know how many birds were in the tree before. Question mark, back to period. Four more birds sit in the tree. There were some birds already, so again, more. So they're doing that addition. But if we look here, it's missing a piece. So we're gonna really count on. So what we're gonna do here to find the missing problem, get rid of your junk, is we're gonna start with our number four, and we're gonna count on until we get to nine. So we're gonna count forward using our model. So are you ready? Here's four. Now I'm gonna come up here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I counted on. I started at the next number, so this was my five, and I counted on. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. We don't count four. Now I need to count how many dots did I create? One, two, three, four, five. So really I needed five more. So the truth is five plus four more equals nine. So there were five birds in the tree already. Alrighty. We're gonna try this one and I'm gonna have you guys do a couple parts. So starting with your blue, get out your colors, my friends. Let's read it together. Read with me, fingers tracking. There are four horses in the field. Some more horses run to the field. Now there are 10 horses in the field. How many horses run to the field? Okay, you found your numbers. Do you see your question? Perfect. How many horses are in the field? Great job, you found my question. Now I need my math action word. What's my math action word, friends? Perfect, you guys got it, more. And what did that mean? Addition, correct, so you should create your plus symbol. And then you're gonna get rid of your junk, all this extra in my way. I don't need it, it hurts my head, it's in my way. Alrighty, so let's look at our equation now. They've told us four, we're in the field, then some more came, and now there's a total of 10. So I'm missing this middle add-in. So we're gonna do it the same way we just did and we're gonna do it by counting on. So pencils up and we're gonna be creating our dots up here in our bar model. 
to keep going. So we're gonna start with four, and then we're gonna go five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I'm gonna stop at 10 because that's my sum, my total. Now let's count it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. So four horses plus six more horses equals 10 horses. All right, guys, ready? There's a couple more. Do you think you can do it? All right, give them a shot and this page is going to be what you submit to us today. So page 27 from your workbook, numbers four, five, and six. Those are your homework for today. Best of luck. Bye.